as we will be having LTL against Alexander as our winner's semis match. Oracle has pushed himself into that second seed, I think. I hope he's ahead of Klim. <clears throat> as uh, Oracle's been playing quite well lately. Pardon me for a moment. Uh, terrible cough I have going. Anyways, Alexander off to a rough one out the gate. He's uh, stuck here in the corner, and it's only going to get worse now. Caught by that. No, oh, wait. Who the hell is playing what color? Okay. L LTL's on the blue one. LTL's blue gourd. Alexander's the yellow gourd. Whoa, almost got the grab. Actually, that was really quickly teched. That wasn't, that wasn't close, I thought. LTL just Grim Reapering as much as he can to try and get something to cross up. And Alexander goes for the risky combo. Tries to extend off of that dash. And he does. For big reward. Grand total of probably about 8,000. LTL back. Not literally against the wall, but getting there. And it's only... Yeah, it's only going to take that to finish him off. Ooh, big button from Ruby, but not enough. Not able to get, oh, is able to get assist back in time. Doesn't have the ability to call it, though. Uh-oh. Ooh. Alexander. Oh, doesn't quite have it yet, and he's going to get caught up. The immediate super. Just get the corner pressure. Got him. And another quick super. Spend the bar when you can. Make use of your resources. And he gets up with a low. Another quick meter spend. If you can get a grab, that should be another quick spend. Oh, he's done! Oh my goodness, LTL with just some... F no, he's not done. Okay, a little bit of health back. Block string. Oh! <gasps> oh! Alexander, he's got over five bars. I'm not sure why he hasn't tried to spend on a... Oh, no! Okay, he's not done. He's not out yet. Oh, it's gonna make it tough. He blocked. He didn't reach. He didn't reach. I can't believe LTL held on. He was running on sub 500 health for like the back 40% of that match. Oh my goodness, Alexander had all the cards in his hand. But LTL only needed the one. That one low-life ruby was more than enough to do it. Alexander, though, off to another decent start. With the ruby out here on the front lines, tore through in the previous game. Is he going to be able to handle it here? Uh-oh. Not quite yet. A lot of damage dealt. All of it burning red life too. And he gets up with the overhead, but the burst gonna come through. Alexander needs to find some ground for himself. Great choice to dash out of there. And the push block into a nice simple conversion. What take that for four? Four's not bad. Oh, tries to get the side swap. Good DP the moment he leapt into the air. He's like, all right, time to put it out. Either I push block and I'm not in the worst position in the world, or that DP cuts through. LTL, wow. Tick throws in a game where you can't really. And is he? Yeah, he didn't feel he was able to quite finish. I'm gonna cut it close. I trust his judgment. LTL, not able to get the opening, neither was Alexander. Okay, good push. Uh-oh. There goes new 13, just Gordo left. The immediate residence opened up by the slamming of that rifle shot. And LTL will take game two. Another fairly hard fought one, but nowhere near the same life totals. It didn't look as close as it actually was. <clears throat> Can't 
Alexander, good early damage here. Five and a half on both, going to go into the cross combo, extending it a little bit further. Oh, that was kind of bad. Okay, okay, worst things have happened. Still maintaining some amount of a lead. Oh, 2B. Good Grim Reaper and the active switch to just keep the pressure rolling. Alexander gonna lose a lot of life off this new 13. Nice jump. Staying high, oh, another solid push block. LTL eating a fair chunk of damage right now. He's not gonna die for anything, but the next hit might get him. Ooh, wrong person. Alexander spending a lot of meter right now to get the push blocks. Anything to keep himself in not the defensive position. Neutral's fine. Advantage state's fine. But once he's put on the defense, he's like, Ugh, I'd rather not be here whatsoever. LTL drops on the Gordo. Ruby, all that's left. We've seen it tear off a lot more health than this before. Oh, and that's gonna get it. Oh, not quite on Gordo. Oh! All the way up that goes. DP gonna be used. Residence immediately taken out. Good low blocks. New needs to keep that distance. Good choice to jump cancel that. The nine bars dealt with. Uh-oh. Can he do it? He's gonna be able to get a good chunk. Not enough. Oh, and he just collides in the air. Alexander able to push himself through that game three. Tight fights between these two. LTL being the successor on two so far. But Alexander being so close, you can't quite remove him from the, from the equation. He's making a case for why he should be able to get into winner's finals. And Having one of his points up there on the scoreboard as a point, it's a good spot to be. Both sides of him, oh, does manage to cross him up there. Good cuts on both sides. LTL is just working out a little bit better. Ooh, okay. Xander letting that one run short. Ooh, okay, okay, I like the 2B just to get rid of the Ruby. You know, stops the cross combo, makes that assist a little uh, unavailable. You know, she just got smacked in the face. Gordo's on the field for both players. Ruby so far in the back, but she's gonna be able to cut all the way forward. The active switch again. Whew. No meter on both sides, both players trying to find any amount of leverage right now, and LTL was the one to be able to find anything out of that little scramble. Lows, double overhead in the grab. Whoa, he tried to punish the missed uh, rifle shot from Ruby, but wasn't able to get there in time. Down will go New 13, it's just the Gordo. Level three resonance, able to block the uh, double jump cross up. Alexander gets the 2B, not able to connect off the 5B. Three bars sitting on the side of LTL and he won't need one of them. Oh, oh I guess he'll need a couple of them. Whatever the case, LTL able to take it three to one. Alexander had his opportunities. That game one was so grossly in his favor, but LTL doing whatever he could to cling on to that last little bit of life. Whew. Yeah. Uh, new is Super scary. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's fair. Stressful yeah. character. Fair bit of damage from range, and especially against your team that is a lot more high I'd like to stay in versus, you know, high I'm already in. Yeah, it's it's more like, it's mostly just stressful, just like trying to get in. Yeah. Like, that's the hard part of that matchup. You're, you're like an in-fighting boxer. You get your head on their your head on their chest and just start throwing little jabs. Yeah. You're able to get through. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... A oh, bigger man will keep you out. Yeah. Um, so it looks like we got uh, Klim versus Oracle back up. Now these two have mm -hmm. sort of like a pseudo rivalry going on right now. <laughs> or uh, Klim has uh, beaten Oracle way more times than Oracle's beaten him. But the last uh, uh, time they fought, 
Oracle did manage to take, take uh, a set over Klim. And it looks like he's going with his classic uh, Linnae Gordo team. I think that's the right call against Klim. He doesn't need what Ragna offers him on the interesting stuff when in. Mm -hmm. He needs the way to find his way in. Um, and comfort is always a nice thing to have. Yeah. And uh, the Linnae team, considerably older than the Ragna one. Yeah. But Klim's actually as old as it gets. He's been playing this since release. Yeah. No, uh, no intent to change. No reason to change. Still a fairly solid team. Yep. Um, nice, nice job trying to keep control with uh, cross combo hits Linnae. <laughs> oh no, with 5B, un unfortunate. Gets a big punish for it. Ooh. And Klim just wins off of a lot of basic mix-up stuff. Like, yeah. he's not doing any crazy cross combos. He's yeah. just hitting you. Yeah. Narkami's really good at that, though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> Oracle needs to be able to find any amount of ground to work with. He's doing a good job of holding on to his cross combo bar, but he needs to find a chance to actually get to use it, and this is it. He can get anything going. On... Gordo gets clocked right there. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I mean, it's damage. It's not real damage, but it's damage. This is suspect right now for yeah, Oracle. This is, this is not looking too fantastic. He's not able to get anything going, unfortunately. And Klim's just looks like it's just in his head at all times right yeah. now. Clean, solid defense. It's all it's, uh, it's, all it's taking. Okay. Oh my God! Wow! wow. Oh, we caught him. Jeez. Oh boy. Klim actually getting pushed around now as he's stuck here in the corner. But Oracle just kind of let him out. He jumped with him and didn't uh, didn't didn't oh, do anything no. to strike. Oh. Oh, down goes Gordo. Linay's not healthy. Oh no! What is he? Oh boy. Okay, not gonna cost him, but you know, cost him two bar. Jeez. Ore is still alive. Oh. Wow, could not whiff. Uh, yeah. Oh no, this is gonna suck. Oh, okay. Oh, that's not as bad. Good blocks. Oh boy. He's able to get any amount of meter out of Klim, which is nice. Oh, I tried to whiff punish that, but at, le but at least... Oh, oh. No. okay. He, Klim just needs one, like... Anything. Anything. Nice anti-air by Oracle. Oh, oh that blew it. That's the anything. DP, the moment your opponent jumps in the air. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, quite scary. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, Klim takes game one. Um... That looked a little bit scrambly for Oracle, but he just needs to try and uh, just play more solid. And mm. Ooh. and solid for him is just being able to get the cross combos going. Yeah, Klim, just being able to set up in general. Yep. Klim's a good player, but not many great players know how to deal with cross combos. You can get really confused on yeah. where someone wants to go. There's so many options that they can pick, and you have to almost guess, pseudo-react. Like, it's not... A good yeah. time. You have to you have to check what the situation is, like when like where uh, the characters are. Nice conversion. Still less than five k without meter. All right. Yeah. Decent eight, chunk. Four bars, eight point two. Yeah, it's not too hot, but unfortunately, sometimes you just take what you can get. At least Klim's uh, hurting right now. Mm -hmm. Very low health totals on his side, and he's, yeah, going to switch into the... Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Yep, Lene is taking a beat beating there. And Gordo, like, it's actually impossible to punish from full screen. Oh, my lord. That push block saved his life. What side? Oh, little scratch. Oh, oh we got him. We're done there. All right, score tied up 1-1. Now, Oracle finding a way to push himself through. Klim 
he wasn't able to just set up in the corner or uh, you know push his throw push his way through and throw his weight around. Yeah. There's a lot that he gets out of getting to play a regular game's neutral um, that he got in the first game that just wasn't offered to him in the second. Yep. Um, okay. Both players are trying to play neutral right, right now. There goes neutral. <laughs> oh. Ooh. I think that was safe. Yeah, that was that uh, that uh, TK Kuga has like no recovery on landing. It's really good. It's not gonna be able to kill, but my goodness, there's not much left on the Orie already, and we're barely 30 seconds into the match. Yep. Mm -hmm. Good J. Eh? Mm, Oracle's getting really getting his bearings now. Oh, unfortunately, oh, DP uh, gets blocked. That's going to be the full seven. Oh, it's going to go even further. Oh, my goodness, because of the corner. Yep. Oh, boy. That was a good idea. Super. Uh, so he can't burst, and he's yeah. dead. Burst had just come online when he went for that. Yeah. Look at that 10 grand four bar. That's, that's yeah, what a four that's... bar combo should look like. But, uh, Orie damage, I guess. Mix. Oh, okay, just do it again. Oh, he's able to finish there, isn't he? Oh, no, he's not. Woo! That's close. Oracle's done a great job of holding any amount of pressure that yeah. he can find. Yeah, the Grim Reaper is doing a lot of work right now. Mm. Patient play on both sides. Ooh, oh. Nice DP. Wow. I say patient play, and then, yeah, the immediate DP the moment he starts approaching. But it worked. Yep. I mean, it worked, so ill-advised as it may have been. Yep. I mean, he had a lot of health, so it wasn't sure. a massive deal. And Ori doesn't do, like, the greatest damage. Okay. She would have gotten, like, maybe 6k off of that. That's fair. That's fair. It's not like it was the, the world's craziest risk, but... Yeah. Um. Oh... I like the call. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. That Grim Reaper just tears through the entire screen. You have to block the moment it comes out there. Unless, I mean, you got a beam or something. Yeah. But. Ooh, a sneaky overhead. Ooh. Ooh. Gord got poked out there. Yeah. Oh, sandwich. Nice push block. Yeah. Not only did it get himself out of the sandwich, but it put uh, Oracle into the corner. Yeah. Oh, my lord. Both of them. He's only got two bar, but it's going to be able to seal out the Linne. I Oh, no. no. Linne no, checked out because yeah. uh, she got hit earlier in the combo. Oh, boy. Oracle not looking too great here. Oh. Five bars. Klim unsure where to burst, if at all. Yeah. Uh oh. Man, that's a dead Gordo. That is, it's just the Lene left. She. DP! For who? Um, or, uh, Klim. Okay. It's, you have to DP punish that. It's safe on, that's safe on block. Gotcha. So instead of blocking it, you DP, you mean? Yeah. Gotcha. It's not a huge punish, but it's. It's a punish. Yeah. It's better than her getting another. Uh, set, uh, more set play after. Right. Even if she's minus, she can still do things. Oh, oh that's it. That's it. Wow. 3-1 right. for Oracle. And it look, I think I'm up again. Uh, yeah, you yep. are up against Oracle. Yep. Wow. 